Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I post all kinds of cooking related videos. If you are into that sort of thing and you like my video, I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Today's video is part of a recipe swap that I am hosting and I am host or I am swapping with Megan's Kitchen and I will have her video linked down below as well as the playlist so you can see everyone else's and let's get started. First, I have a lazy lasagna that she shared with me and I have seen this, you know, around YouTube and actually my dad was even telling me about it and I hadn't tried it yet. So this gave me a wonderful excuse to do it and I'm so glad that I did. You are going to preheat your oven to, I believe it was 375. And of course you can always add meat or something to this. I intended to add Italian sausage and I forgot to get it at the store. So you are just going to line the bottom of a nine by 13 inch baking dish with pasta sauce of your choice. Top it with, as you can see here, however many ravioli will fit. It'll end up being three layers of ravioli. Then you're gonna to top that with a little bit more sauce. And as you can see with my knife, I was really trying not to dirty up too many dishes. Ugh, I know I've said before, but we are almost completely moved and I am, down on the dishes because we're actually moving across the street <laughs> so i'm taking stuff over all the time but anyways then you're going to top that with mozzarella cheese and then a little bit of shredded parmesan as well and like i said you're going to repeat those layers And once you've used everything up, you're going to cover it with aluminum foil and bake it for about 25 minutes. And then I took it off and broiled it some as well. And that was it. This was so easy. And then I just topped it with a little bit of fresh basil and that was dinner. We were really, I was really trying to rush this night. So it was so perfect. We had so much going on and I would really like to next time, of course, like I said, put the sausage in it, serve a salad garlic bread or something, but it is perfect for a wee night, just quick. And next I'm making pollo chicken. Is that how you say it? I don't know. This is a new favorite of ours. <laughs> we have already been talking about how we're going to do it with shrimp and of course add some onions and peppers next time and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, First, I have these three ginormous chicken breasts and I'm cutting them in half because of course it won't get so dry and who needs that much chicken? I mean, it's huge. And then you're going to put it in a gallon baggie, pour that Lowry's Baja sauce in it and I think marinate it for 30 minutes. And there's also another option on the marinade in case you can't find that one. And I will have the link, the link to the recipe link, link down below in case you can't find this one because this was the only one I could find. I couldn't find the other one. And now I'm gonna start on my rice. This was the best Spanish, Mexican, whatever, I don't know, <laughs> rice I've ever had. You're going to, I guess put a little bit, yeah, vegetable oil. I think I use avocado oil. You're gonna heat up a little bit of oil in a skillet, preferably one with a lid, cause you're gonna need this to simmer. And I forgot that I did not have my lid. <laughs> I was at the other house. I don't know why I did that, but you're gonna kind of toast up your rice in it. Once the oil heats up a little bit and put in your spices, which is some garlic salt, minced onion, and taco seasoning. And then you're gonna stir it up for a few more minutes. And then you're going to put in half a cup of tomato sauce, two cups of chicken broth, 
and let it simmer for 25 minutes. With me not being able to let it simmer properly, I had to add additional liquid like a couple more times, but it's, it still came out perfect. And as far as your chicken goes, you can grill it, which I would recommend because I used my Ninja Foodie grill, little attachment or insert for it. And, or, sorry, or you can, you know, pan sear it. You can bake it in the oven, whatever you want to do, just as long as it's cooked. And then you're going to put it over that rice and drizzle some cheese sauce on it, cheese dip, and that's it. It was so good like we were still talking about it the next day which is actually today i made this last night and it was so good but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found some dinner inspiration you can't go wrong with either one of these i'm telling you me and my family loved both of them thank you so much megan and don't forget to check out her video down below as well as the playlist with all the other ladies who are swapping recipes and i will see y'all in the next video